In a world driven by innovation and technology, one profession stands at the forefront of shaping our future, which is AI engineering. But how does one embark on the journey to becoming an AI engineer in 2024? Fear not as we unveil the ultimate roadmap to guide you through this exhilarating odyssey. There are plenty of videos out there on the internet, but none of them give a clear point perspective on how you actually get into this field. So we have combined all of this information into a format that would be simple and straightforward for you guys to understand and follow. So watch the video till the end in order to get complete information about the AI roadmap in 2024 along with all the links for all the platforms and resources. So the first milestone of our AI roadmap is the prerequisites. In order to start your journey in becoming the AI engineer, you need to know three things beforehand. Number one is the programming language, which is the Python. It is the most recommended language for AI development because of its simplicity and availability of numerous AI and machine learning libraries. There are many courses for learning Python on the internet, but I would suggest you to have a look at this course available on Kaggle. If there are seven lessons present inside this course and the complete duration of the course is five hours. You can see that beside each course, we have a tutorial for the course and then we have a learning exercise. And if you are more into textual stuff rather than the visual videos, then you can refer to this Google's Python class. You can see that there are eight lessons available in this Python class. There is some textual stuff as well as lecture videos. So you can either go to the text and learn all of the commands and all of the concepts from there, or you can always go ahead and view the lecture videos as well. The second prerequisite for AI roadmap is the knowledge of mathematics. Machine learning relies heavily on three pillars of mathematics, which are linear algebra, calculus, and probability and statistics. Each plays a unique role in enabling algorithms to function effectively. Linear algebra is the mathematical toolkit for data representation and manipulation where matrices and vectors form the language for algorithms to interpret and process information. Calculus is the engine for optimization in machine learning, enabling the algorithms to learn and improve by understanding gradients and rates of change, whereas probability and statistics is the foundation for decision making under uncertainty, allowing algorithms to predict the outcomes and learn from data through models of randomness and variability. So if you want to learn the mathematics for machine learning, then this is a great series present on YouTube on math for machine learning from a programmer's perspective. This series covers all the important concepts of mathematics for like linear algebra, the calculus, math for machine learning, probability, etc. You can also refer to this course present on course era on algebra and differential calculus for data science. It is an intermediate level course. The duration of the course is eight hours and it will allow you to learn practical working and logarithmic properties and how logarithm functions graphically behave. You will also learn to identify the difference between continuous and non-continuous functions and use of derivatives to create graphs for the function. And if you want to get information specifically related to statistics, then you can get yourself enrolled in this course provided by Coursera. It is a beginner level course. The duration of the course is 14 hours. The third most important prerequisite is the knowledge of data structures and algorithms. As a machine learning engineer or AI engineer, you will be writing programs which needs to scale. So you need to know the trade-off between memory and CPU. You need to have deeper understanding on how the data structures work underneath. Okay, so in order to learn data structures and algorithms, you can use this resource right here. You can see that here they have the beginner's guide. There is a section for the dynamic programming having six chapters. Then we have array, SQL language, graphs, heap, bit manipulation, sorting, linked list, binary trees, recursion, binary search, and array, binary search tree, etc. So you can refer to this resource. Each of these topics have multiple chapters inside them and there is also some learning exercises along with the videos. And then you can also refer to this course whose title is Harvard's Artificial Intelligence with Python Field University course. It will provide you the, all the concepts needed to embed AI with Python. Once you are done with the three prerequisites, 
Now we are going to head to our next milestone of the roadmap, which is the hardware requirement. You already know that AI stuff takes a lot of computational power and resources. So it is critical for you to have a good processor, a high end CPU and a powerful GPU. So you at least need to have an i7 processor with 16 GBs of RAM in order to get started with AI. And in addition to it, make sure you also have a GPU like the RTX 3060, 3070 and if you can also afford then you also need to have a storage of 1TB SS. However, if you do not have the required resources and you don't want to invest in such high-end hardware solutions, then the best alternative for that would be the cloud-based solutions like Google Colab and Jupyter Notebook. There are multiple cloud-based solutions which you can use if you don't want to upgrade your hardware requirements. Here I've provided you a few examples. Although these cloud-based tools are much less efficient than actually having a GPU inside your PC, but they will surely provide you with the necessary computational power in order to start out your journey. The third milestone of our AI engineer roadmap are the softwares. Softwares are also as much important in your AI journey as the hardware requirements. So any modern operating system like Windows, Linux or Mac OS can be used for AI development. But you need to have the appropriate softwares in order to perform coding and other operations. So a code editor like Sublime or VS Code or even PyCharm will be the best options for you. You can download these editors locally on your PC and you can perform all the required operations for the AI engineer on your local editors right here on your system. But if you don't want to download these editors on your system and you want to work on cloud, then you can also use the cloud based coordinators like Replit, which is a cloud based solution and also provides you an AI code assistant that will act as your personal AI assistant and will help you in writing code for you. So in addition to code writing softwares, you also need to have some information about the code collaboration tools. So the best collaboration platform right here is GitHub. And for the notebooks, I'm going to suggest you to have a look at the Google Collabs and the Jupyter Notebook that will help you in collaboration with the other team members. The next milestone on our AI engineer roadmap is the exploratory data analysis. And in order to learn exploratory data analysis, you need to have information about the three most important Python libraries, which are pandas, numpy, and seaborn, as well as matplotlib. So in order to learn exploratory data analysis with Python and pandas, you can also refer to this course on course era which provides you all the information of how you can perform the EDA techniques on any tabular data set using Python packages such as pandas and numpy. It will also allow you to produce data visualizations using Seaborn and matplotlib. You can also have a look at this another course provided by Coursera, which is exploratory data analysis for machine learning. And it will allow you to perform exploratory data analysis using machine learning techniques. The fifth milestone of our AI engineer roadmap is the API. So for those who don't know, an API is like a bridge between the two systems. It is a messenger that communicates between two different programs. So you can create your own APIs or you can also use the pre-existing AI models for the APIs. So OpenAI API and the Stable Diffusion APIs are the great places to start learning of how to interact with the pre-existing AI model APIs. So by using these two models, you can actually get all the functionalities and all the features provided by these models without having to delve into the complex details of how they were constructed or trained. You simply have to learn how to use these APIs and you can also learn this using their documentations. The sixth milestone of our AI journey are the datasets. Datasets play a crucial role in the development, training and evaluation of AI models across various domains. You need to have information about different datasets because they are very helpful in training the models. They serve as the foundation for training AI models. These models learn patterns, relationships and features from the data provided in the dataset 
the quality and quantity of data directly impact the performance and accuracy of the AI models. So you need to have information about different data set platforms and how you can get the data set for different topics. So different websites like Kaggle, UCI machine learning repository and Google data set search are great places to find data sets for a variety of applications. You can simply head to these platforms and type your topic on which you want to get the data set and they will provide you a lot of options to select your data set from. So once you get the information about the data set, that's where our seventh milestone comes. So the seventh milestone of our AI engineered roadmap are the databases. A database is an organized collection of structured information or data typically stored electronically in a computer system or on cloud. But in case of machine learning and artificial intelligence, intelligence, we need to dive deep into a more specific form of the database called the vector databases. The vector databases are becoming increasingly important in the realm of AI due to its ability to efficiently store, retrieve and process high dimensional vector data. They employ specialized data structures and indexing techniques to organize the vectors in a way that minimizes storage space while maintaining fast retrieval times. They leverage advanced algorithms such as approximate nearest neighbor search to effectively retrieve vectors that are similar to a given query vector. This is essential for the tasks like content-based recommendation systems, image and video searches, and natural language processing. Here are some of the most popular vector databases used in AI. Milvers, Phase, Annoy, NMS LIB, Pinecone, etc. The eighth milestone on our AI engineered roadmap is machine learning. The knowledge of machine learning is very important for an AI engineer because it is a fundamental component of artificial intelligence, playing a pivotal role in enabling AI systems to learn from data make predictions and adapt to changing environments. So if you are a beginner and want to learn machine learning for AI, then you can always refer to this course present on course era. The title of the course is machine learning specialization. It is a beginner level course. The duration of the course is around two months and it will provide you all the information about the machine learning that you can use for AI like logistic regression, artificial neural network, linear regression, decision trees, recommender systems, etc. The ninth milestone of our AI engineer journey is deep learning. So the knowledge of deep learning is very important for becoming an AI engineer because deep learning is a subset of machine learning that focuses on artificial neural networks with multiple layers. Deep learning algorithms have revolutionized various fields of artificial intelligence due to their ability to automatically learn complex patterns and representations directly from data. So if you want to learn about deep learning and you are more into textual stuff, then you can have a look at this ebook called deeplearningbook.org. This book contains all the chapters and all the topics that you need to learn in order to have understanding about the deep learning. And if you want to have a course having videos, then you can refer to this course on Coursera whose title is Deep Learning Specialization. It is an intermediate level course and will allow you to build and train deep neural networks, identify the key architecture parameters and implement vectorized neural networks. It will also allow you to train the test sets, analyze the variance for the DL applications and build and train CNNs and RNNs. Now that you have all the tools and knowledge needed to become an AI developer, the only thing that is left is to actually implement all of this knowledge. And this brings us to our 11th and the final milestone of our AI engineer roadmap, which is the open source project. There are many open source communities and platforms available from where you can get open source projects for AI and machine learning. So firstly, GitHub is a fantastic place to get involved with projects that involve machine learning and AI. Moreover, you can also find some very cool open source project on the hugging face. And in order to get information about the new technologies and new trends, or in order to get information about any error, you can always refer to the discussions on platforms like Stack Overflow, Reddit, and AI related forums. So once you have all the skills and knowledge, you can 
Use these open source projects to enhance your skills and apply these knowledge into creating some useful applications for machine learning and AI. And there you have it, the ultimate AI engineer roadmap for 2022. So after getting all of the skills and knowledge to become an AI developers, you can now start working on the self project. Doing so will actually test your skills and develop your knowledge for the job market of the AI developers and will also be helpful to be mentioned in your resume to be hired as an AI engineer later on in the future. I hope that you found this video helpful. Thanks for watching.